What's going on, guys? 2022 Miami Dolphins Fantasy Outlook. Not a whole lot I'm super excited about on this team this year. Tua, not really excited about him. I, I, I just don't feel like he's bringing a lot to the table. Um, if somehow that offense clicks, then he's going to have a good year, but I'm just not sure how that's going to work. Uh, Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddell, I, I don't think I'm really willing to pay the price that I'm going to have to to get Tyreek. Uh, I'm not drafting him in the first round. I'm probably not taking him in the second round. If I can get him in the third round, yeah, maybe we can talk. Um, Jalen Waddle, not sure what you're going to get out of him this year. Uh, is Tyreek being there really going to help him out, or is he going to hurt him? Is he going to take the targets away from him, or is he going to open him up, uh, getting him that he won't be having that number one cornerback coverage on him? The, the jury's still out there on what we're going to get with that. And then that Miami Dolphins backfield, I'm just staying away from just because there's way too many running backs there. Chase Edmonds, Raheem Mostert, Sony Michelle, Miles Gaskin, four good running backs who have all been starters at a certain point in time in their career here recently, all in the same backfield. You don't know who's going to get the ball, what's going on. You know, Chase Edmonds is leading the way, but how long is that going to last? We've seen what, what Raheem Mostard has done when he's been given the opportunity. Sony Michelle, Miles Gaskin, those are all guys that could really carry carry the ball and, and lead the team. So who knows? But what do you guys think about the Dolphins this year? Is there anyone on there that you're excited about? Let us know. Deuces.